Daisy, the diesel rail car, thinks of herself as thoroughly modern and bang up to date. And being a rail car, Daisy can carry passengers without having to pull any coaches at all. Daisy shares the branch line between Arlesborough and Harwood with a tank engine called Ryan. Although they work on the same line, they are quite different. While Daisy takes all the passengers, Ryan pulls trucks. Daisy doesn't like pulling trucks. She likes to do just what work she chooses. And no more. One day, early in the morning, Ryan was ready for work. But Daisy had something else in mind. Ready to go? Oh, I don't think so, Ryan. Early mornings are bad for my swerves. Hmm, I'll just have ten minutes more. Oh. <laughs> the fat controller was waiting at Osborne West with some good news. Ryan, you and Daisy have proved yourselves really useful. So, I want to give you both some extra duties. I'd like you to help Toby deliver trucks from the quarry to Harwick. Yes, sir. And, as for Daisy, uh, where is Daisy? Uh, if you have a message, sir, I can pass it on. No. Oh. Not just a message, it's this mail truck. Starting tomorrow, Daisy will pick up the mail from Arlesborough before she starts her passenger run. And now Summer's here, I also want her to work later into the evening. Can you remember to tell her all that, Ryan? Yes, sir. No problem, sir. But this is your mail truck. You're to pick up the mail from Arlesborough West first thing tomorrow and work later into the evening. But I'm a diesel rail car. You would make a much better job of it, Ryan. I can't pull a mail truck. It's fit as orders. But the fat controller says... Yes, you look great pulling the mail truck. Really useful. Well... When you put it like that, thanks, Daisy. The following day, Ryan set off early to pick up the mail. But all the extra duties made him late to meet Toby. Sorry I'm late. That's all right, Ryan. Don't worry. But try to be on time tomorrow. Later on, Ryan saw Daisy. Where were you going? Back to the shed. I'm exhausted. But you're supposed to work late. Oh, Ryan, would you do that? All this extra work is bad for my swerves. But uh, you're a diesel rail car. I'm just a tank engine. You could take those coaches. You'd be doing me a huge favour. And you'd be really useful. You're right. Uh, 
<laughs> the fat controller was surprised to see Ryan pulling passenger coaches. Ryan, what are you doing here? Just helping out, sir. Well, Ryan, you are making yourself really useful. But I was rather hoping to see Daisy. She's been doing such a good job with her passengers that I want to extend her run down to Knapford. I can tell her that for you, sir. Thank you, Ryan. That night, when Ryan returned to the shed, Daisy was already asleep. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Hmm. And she was still asleep the next morning when Ryan set off to collect the mail. Ryan didn't like to wake her. He knew that early mornings were bad for her swerves. Go ahead. Couple me up. But now Ryan had a lot to do, as well as his own work and extra duties. He also had to do all of Daisy's extra jobs. With the passenger coaches behind him, <laughs> and Daisy's mail truck in front, Ryan couldn't see where he was going. And after Ryan had delivered the mail, he saw a clock and realized he was late to meet Toby again. Oh dear! He hurried to the quarry as quickly as he could and he took all his passengers too. Oh, hold on there! Stop! You can't disembark here! You need hard hats! Poor Ryan felt very silly indeed. The fat controller was not happy with... Daisy! You didn't do the run down to Knapford like I asked you to. Oh, I didn't know anything about that, sir. I saw Ryan pulling passenger coaches yesterday and with your mail truck this morning. He seems to be doing all your extra jobs. Ryan offered to help. He wanted to be really useful. Oh, Ryan and Daisy, you were given this branch line to work on together. You should be helping each other. It's good to help a friend, Ryan, but your friends should help you too. Sorry, Ryan. I've not been a very good friend. No, you haven't. And now, Daisy, since you don't like pulling the mail truck... You can do something else. Tomorrow, you can have all of Ryan's extra duties. But what about my springs and my swerves? Mm. Okay, sir. I can do that for a friend. Huh. Daisy the Diesel Railcar likes to do just what work she chooses and no more. Right, then. Off I go to pick up your trucks. OK. Thanks, Daisy. And then... To the quarry. Have a good day, then. You're a good friend, Daisy. I know I am, Ryan. And so are you.